Good morning. So I just finally got Colton to go back to sleep for his little morning snooze he does. And uh, it's pretty chilly out here this morning, but again, beautiful out. So uh, we found a really nice camp spot to spend the night last night. And we're actually gonna spend tonight here as well. So it's the first day we're not traveling during the day. Um, and someone small broke my tripod. So I actually have you stuffed into a tree um, at the moment to video. So hopefully you'll be able to see me and all that. Um, it is cold. I've got <laughs> Nate's old hat on, gloves. It'll make the weights a little bit more slippery, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna get it in anyway and possibly do a little bit of hit just to kind of get that in since I've been doing more like hiking and a little bit of trampoline and that sort of thing for cardio. So I'm gonna try my best to get some, some hit in and hopefully my battery won't die on my camera. So uh, I'm just gonna get started so it doesn't die. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do, again, I'm focusing on upper body and glute work for the most part, especially trying to maintain while on vacation. So I'm gonna do some straight leg, single leg deadlifts. <laughs> Hi guys. Nate and Violet were out running around by the river that we parked by, so, um, so I'm sure they'll make an appearance here shortly. So straight leg, single leg deadlifts. I'm doing them with a dumbbell because we didn't bring a barbell. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to see me do these. So I, they're gonna be slippery, so I'm just gonna see how many I can do while holding on with my gloves since the weights are for a reason. <laughs> I'm gonna turn so you can see me doing them here. So again, holding the weights right in front of me, only going to about mid shin. Hi, Katie. And uh, taking it down from here. Again, a little bit of balance challenge because I'm not on even ground. Hi, beautiful. Did you have fun down by the river? Yep. Six, seven, eight. Is it not too cold for you out here? Yeah, yeah it's chilly. Yeah. Oh, you're nice and warm in your coat? Yeah. <laughs> With your mitts? Yeah, great. Great. Yeah. Four, five, falling over. Six. Seven, eight, yeah, nine, come. Okay. Ten. So, I guess I'll do sets of ten. That's no, what feels yeah. comfortable. No, Trying yeah. to hold on to the weights and also catch my yeah. balance. <laughs> Lila, come here so I can fix your hat. Let me pull it down. Get it over your ears so they're not hanging out. Does that feel better? Cassie! <laughs> She's very excited, uh, wandering around. She loves having a river to wander by. Except she thinks that her winter suit, meaning her coat, is going to keep her warm in the river, which is not true. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do another two sets of this. Again, just work my glutes, my hamstrings. Okay. Trying to keep that going. Mid shin. These are with my 30s, if you can't see. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Feels tough holding these weights with these gloves on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe I'll be warm enough in a second to take them off though. <laughs> so we have been doing a ton of hiking, but I haven't gotten my workouts in that I was hoping to the last couple days, just with trying to travel and, uh, and see everything, which has been amazing. I mean, really, really beautiful. Uh, Zion was amazing. I really liked Mexican hat. The first place we stayed, um, which was the hat that looked, or the big rock structure that looked like I, um, sombrero, like a big hat. Balancing on it was really cool. I think that was my favorite. And Horseshoe Bend, definitely second. So Mexican hat, Horseshoe Bend were my favorite two things. And they were both free of charge and, uh, and really awesome. Where the park was amazing, Zion's amazing, but um, 
I really liked Horseshoe Bend. That's been on my list to see for a long, long time, so I'm glad we got to see that. Seven, eight, nine, ten, other side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. So those are pretty tough. Thirties are uh, heavy for dumbbells anyway, trying to hold them up. Um, I'm actually gonna get rid of my gloves here and uh, and do some squats, some prisoner squats with my twenties, kind of getting low. Um, hopefully my hands won't freeze to death without my gloves, but it's really hard to hold on to the weights because they're slippery. So I'm gonna move my thirties just kind of out of the way. Grab my 20s. Oh, they're chilly. Let me see if I can move forward. Now you can see me a little bit better. So I'm just keeping my feet right at hip width, taking them straight down. Really using my glutes to pop me back up. I'm gonna bang these out because these are light. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, good. Just a little uh, something on squatting. So I find that people have a lot of problems squatting, especially with their knees. Two things to remember is when you're squatting, you actually have a lot better form. If you twist your knees out, um, that torque on your knees supports your knees. So when you're at the bottom, if you think about kind of grinding your knees out towards the side, twisting them, and using your posterior chain or your butt and hamstrings and even your back muscles to kind of pull you back up. It works a lot better and that gets rid of that knee wobble at the bottom. So if you're here and you get that knee wobble, it's because you're not twisting your knees out enough to engage your posterior chain more. So just as hot, another set. Again, put your weight in your heels, twist your knees out, and they're a lot more effective that way too. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. It's nice to be able to just drop those very cold weights right on the ground <laughs> in the sand. It's nice and quiet out here. And we did have one other person staying, but they were staying in a tent. They were gone early this morning. It was freezing and windy last night. And we were nice and toasting in the camper. <laughs> so I felt bad for the girl. I said, oh man, I checked to see if she blew away when we got up this morning, but, but she was still there packing up camp. So, so she left early this morning. But I stayed and got a couple cups of coffee in with my heavy whipping cream. I made some scrambled eggs this morning. It's awesome. All right, here we go, another set. Whew. I'm warming up, but my hands are still cold. Feels good to get some actual muscle work in. I can hear Violet. <laughs> yelling things off in the distance. Eleven. Twelve. Good. Whew. My hands are cold. So that was set of three. Again, it's not always what you want to do. Doing sets, you know, of three. Doing three sets of twelve. It's just kind of maintenance work for me. So it depends on what your goals are. I know we've talked about that a lot in the videos, but I'm just trying to hammer home the point that you don't always want to do three sets of 12 or four sets of eight to 10. It kind of depends on what your goals are. So you really got to change it up. Um, 
Next thing I'm going to do, again, I've just been trying to do upper body stuff and uh, back, shoulders, biceps, that sort of thing. So I'm actually going to do some rows just to kind of hit the back. I haven't really hit it at all since I've been away. Um, so I'm going to grab a 30 here and do some rows. Again, trying to keep my hands warm uh, and not use my gloves because it makes it really slippery to hold on to the weight. So just warm them up for a second <laughs> and then uh, grab it in. So really support yourself on that front leg, back leg. You're really sticking your butt out so that you can flatten your back and that allows you to get a good row in. So I'm gonna use my legs to lift up to about knee height and then row from there. Again, this is late for me. So if I was at the gym, I'd usually use a 45, but I didn't pack those. So I'm just gonna bang out sets of 15 and I'm gonna go from side to side here because it gives me enough of a break to do the other side since I'm doing it singly. My nose is starting to run out here in the cold. Here we go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Other side. Again, we'll do three sets because it's just maintenance work. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Still feels heavy, even though it's maintenance. And it's lighter than normal. Here we go. Set of two. Five. Nine. 10. 13, 14, 15. Last set. Picking it up. Six, ten, fourteen, fifteen. Whew. The weight actually feels a little bit warmer now <laughs> from holding on to it for so long. So here we go. Last one. Here we go. So that was it for my rows. Again, booty, upper body. So I'm gonna do a little bit of Arnold presses. Uh, starting facing me, popping them out, uh, working my shoulders. And I'm gonna do that with my 20s. And then I'll probably get some hit in and call it a day because we're gonna hike a bunch today as well. So let me get started with my Arnold presses. So what I like about Arnold presses, rather than just plain military presses, is that uh, it kind of gets your whole shoulder because it starts facing you first. So facing you and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Whew. So again, this is a little bit light for me. So I'm doing sets of ten. I usually would like to do probably like four sets of six to eight with 25s rather than doing three sets of ten to twelve. Um, and the reason why is because I want to keep as much size on my shoulders and continue to grow them as I can. So when I do shoulders in the gym, I might do four or five exercises for shoulders, which might include Arnold's, um, it might include um, some side raises, maybe cable or dumbbell with those, um, front raises, kind of a variety just to hit every part of the shoulders. So, whoa, dad is picking up big rocks. Trying to impress the lady. 
I don't know if it works or not, but. All right, here we go. Another set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. So like I said, I'd do like four or five exercises in the gym for shoulders if it was a shoulder day. And then I usually do either, oh, present? Is it for me? Oh my goodness. Oh, a rock. Thank you for my present. I love it. I love it. Did you see these cool rocks right here? This one's kind of blue. See? It looks like a bottle or something, but it's not sharp. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Collecting rocks, yeah. Anyway, four or five exercises with shoulders, and then I'm gonna put your present right there, okay? Ah. And then, uh, and then something to finish it, like um, either a bicep or tricep workout or exercise. Present, I see. You're so sweet, thank you. Here we go, another set. Help me with these rocks. I've been watching the battery on my camera because it looks like it's going to die. Nice. Six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. You want to try a big one? Okay, you're doing a good job with the small Definitely ones. can tell I'm a little bit out of shape um, just because it feels heavy doing those. Oh, a present. Thank you for my rock. You're so sweet. Uh, so anyways, looking at my camera because my battery is going to die. Um, so I'm just going to show you the exercises I'm going to plan to do for a hit. And then that way you know what I'm up to. So I'm just going to do a round of Tabata, which means four exercises. Oh, you want the rock back? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you want to show them? Yeah. Okay, here you go. See, here's my rock. How cool is that? You gotta sh turn it this way. It's a rock. Very exciting. <coughs> Say thank you. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Woo. Um, so I'll just show you the hip moves. Four exercises. Tabata, you ladies know what you're doing with that. So I'm gonna do split jumps. Uh, you've done these this way, so get nice and low. Pop it up. Just like that, a little split jump. Again, I'm staying off the ground because there's sharp stuff and all of that, so I'm not hitting the ground. I'm going to do a rotating uh, jack, jumping jack. So right here and either side like that. That's a really good one to keep your heart rate up. I'm also going to do uh, four high knees and a pop squat. Two, three, four. Up like that for exercise three. I'm present. Thank you. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do is uh, um, a side jump. So I'm just going to take it off to the side here and try and get up nice and high in between. So those are my four Tabata exercises I'm going to do. And uh, that will finish me up for today. So I hope you ladies have a great day. Good luck with your challenge. Get it in. Talk to you soon.